Arthur lived in a city called Gotham which was a dilapidated city, the city was full of trash and rats, in that city there was also a famous presenter named Murray and Arthur who aspired to be a stand-up comedian was his fan. Arthur lived by working as a clown and was always lacking, he also had to take care of his old and sick mother named Penny. Even so, Arthur always treated his mother well and earned money for both of them. Arthur also had a disease where he would laugh without cause and without being affected by mood, this made it difficult for him to live his daily life. At a certain time, he would go to a psychiatrist from the social health department to have a therapy session and pick up some medicines. I think I felt better when I was locked up in the hospital. One day, Arthur was working by dancing on the side of the road holding a promotional sign for a store. Suddenly a group of boys came and took the board, they ran and Arthur chased them. After arriving at a deserted place, they hit Arthur with the board until the board broke apart, they then beat Arthur who did not resist and only groaned in pain. Not long after, Arthur's colleague named Randall heard of the incident and he gave Arthur a gun to protect himself. Arthur had refused, but Randall admitted that he sympathized with Arthur and he was willing to be paid at any time for the gun, Arthur finally accepted it. It was just a bunch of kids, I should have left it alone. You gotta protect yourself out there. Due to this incident, Arthur was summoned by his boss named Hoyt. Hoyt reprimanded Arthur because the shop that hired the services of a clown complained because Arthur did not return the promotional board. Even though Arthur had explained that he was attacked, Hoyt still insisted that Arthur should return the board, if not, Arthur's salary would be deducted. If you don't return the sign, I gotta take it out of your paycheck. Feeling that he was being treated unfairly, Arthur took out his frustration by kicking and hitting a trash can. Arthur then returned to his apartment. There, he was neighbors with a woman named Sophie and occasionally crossed paths with her. This building is so awful, isn't it? In the apartment, his mother always talked about how she always wrote letters to a respected man named Thomas Wayne, his mother admitted that she used to work at Thomas Wayne's house and Thomas Wayne would help her if he knew that her life was currently difficult. Even though it sounded absurd, Arthur always understood his mother's behavior. They sometimes watched Murray's show together and Arthur sometimes fantasized about being able to see the show live in the studio and get Murray's attention. After crossing paths with Sophie, Arthur seemed to be attracted to her and followed her. I have a gun. That night Sophie knocked on Arthur's apartment door to ask about Arthur following her, and Arthur confirmed this, Sophie didn't seem angry and instead became closer to Arthur. One day, Arthur was working as a clown where he was entertaining children at the hospital. While dancing, he accidentally dropped the gun that Randall had given him and made the show awkward. Because of that incident he was scolded by Hoyt via public telephone and was fired from his job, Hoyt had said that Randall told him that Arthur wanted to buy a bullet from Randall, Arthur was surprised to hear that and realized that Randall had set him up. Arthur then returned home tiresome, he took the night train and was in a carriage with a woman and three male passengers, the three male passengers seemed to be bothering the woman. At that time, Arthur's laughing disease suddenly recurred. <laughs> the woman left them and the three men approached Arthur who kept laughing. Arthur tried to explain that he had an illness, but the three men attacked him at the same time, Arthur who was being beaten shot them straight away. Two of them were killed immediately, but one of them was only shot in the leg and tried to escape, Arthur then chased him and shot him outside the train. News of the shooting immediately spread and was reported on television. A news program that was discussing the news asked Thomas Wayne his opinion on the incident, apparently the three people who were shot were workers at Thomas Wayne's company, he then said that the shooter was just someone who was jealous of other people's success, he also continued to badmouth him. Hearing that, Arthur felt uncomfortable and even laughed. Arthur still continued his routine of visiting the Department of Social Health, but one day, Arthur's psychiatrist informed him that their funding had been cut and their office would be closed next week. Arthur could no longer receive medicine. After quitting his job as a clown, Arthur started trying to become a stand-up comedian like his dream. One night he gave a stand-up show, but his laughter recurred and wouldn't stop, so the show became weird. <laughs> Besides that, the jokes that he brought were also not very funny so people didn't really like them. After returning from there, Arthur took a walk in the city with Sophie. At that time, the people of the city even admired the killer clown who was all over the news and some people even wore clown masks, Sophie also said that the clown was not a criminal, but a hero who had reduced the number of bad people in the city. Arthur was happy to hear that. 
After that Arthur came back to his apartment and his mother said that she had returned to write a letter to Thomas Wayne, his mother also told Arthur to send it. Out of curiosity, Arthur opened the letter and it was written that Arthur was the son of Thomas Wayne and Penny asked Thomas Wayne to help their lives that were in need. Arthur immediately asked his mother, Penny confirmed this and admitted that she could not tell anyone because she had previously signed a contract. What would they say, Mom? Said it was best if we could be together. Since then, Arthur began to pay attention to Thomas Wayne. From newspapers circulating, Thomas Wayne appeared to have a wife and a young son named Bruce. Thomas Wayne was reported to be starting a campaign because he was running for mayor of Gotham. Arthur then went to Thomas Wayne's house and met Bruce. He had entertained Bruce with his funny behavior, but suddenly the guard came and kicked him out. Here to see Mr. Wayne. Well, you shouldn't be speaking. Arthur introduced himself as the son of Penny and admitted to knowing the relationship between Thomas Wayne and his mother. After hearing that the guard looked surprised, but he denied the relationship between Thomas Wayne and his mother, instead he said that his mother was a madman. Out of anger, Arthur strangled the guard from behind the fence, but after seeing Bruce who was scared, he let go and left. At night, Arthur returned to his apartment and there was an ambulance and people who were about to take his mother away, Penny seemed to be unconscious and Arthur then went to the hospital. While waiting, Arthur was visited by two detectives named Garrity and Burke. They apparently had come to his apartment but Arthur was not there, they then spoke to Penny, but Penny was hysterical and had a stroke. Sorry to bother you, I'm Detective Garrity, this is my partner. She got hysterical, hyperventilating. The two detectives admitted that they wanted to ask Arthur about the shooting that occurred on the train, they finally had time to talk briefly before Arthur left. Arthur returned to Penny's room and waited for her who still hadn't regained consciousness. There he was accompanied by Sophie who looked concerned. At that time, the TV was on and Arthur was watching Murray's program. Murray then discussed the recording of a stand-up comedian in Gotham City which he made fun of because his stand-up wasn't funny. The stand-up comedian was none other than Arthur. Arthur who was initially happy that he appeared now turned to hate. <laughs> you can say that again, pal. The next day, Arthur entered a theater to follow Thomas Wayne. Arthur disguised himself as a worker there. When Thomas Wayne went to the toilet, he followed him. Thomas Wayne finally realized that someone was waiting for him, he greeted him casually, and Arthur began to introduce himself. Thomas Wayne then realized that Arthur was someone who had come to his house. Thomas Wayne explained that Arthur was an adopted child by Penny and was completely not his son. Arthur who heard that became angry and his illness recurred, but Thomas Wayne hit him in the face while warning him not to touch Bruce again. Mary, Mary the next day, Arthur received a call informing him that he was invited to appear on Murray's show. Apparently, the footage of Arthur that was shown received great responses from the audience. Arthur then agreed to his invitation. Yeah, that sounds great. After that Arthur went to Arkham Psychiatric Hospital and asked for documents about Penny from her examination 30 years ago. The officer said he could not provide the documents without an official letter and only read a small part of the information. Arthur suddenly pulled the document and ran away. Inside the documents were Penny's examination records and also adoption documents. Apparently Penny was diagnosed with delusional disorder and narcissistic personality. From these documents it was also known that Arthur was an abandoned child who was adopted by Penny but was always abused by Penny's boyfriend until it was severe and traumatized his brain. We have all the paperwork right here. <laughs> Upon seeing that, Arthur screamed in frustration and bursted into tears. He then returned to the apartment but he instead entered Sophie's apartment. Upon seeing Arthur, Sophie was shocked and asked Arthur to return to his apartment. From there it was known that Sophie, who had always been close and always accompanied Arthur was only Arthur's hallucination. One minute of my entire fucking life, that there was something wrong with me. The next day, Arthur went to the hospital to see Penny, but Arthur took her pillow and used it to smother Penny. After that Arthur returned to the apartment and started dressing up. Not long after, Randall and Gary, Arthur's former co-worker came to visit. They claimed to have heard the news of Penny's death and wanted to comfort Arthur. Gary even bought Arthur a drink but Randall seemed to have other intentions. He wanted to discuss about the shooting case. Yeah, you can use some cheering up. The cops have been coming around the shop. Suddenly, Arthur who was holding a pair of scissors stabbed Randall in the neck and eyes, then smashed his head against the wall until he died. Gary who saw that was very scared, but Arthur asked Gary to go and thanked him because Gary was always kind to him. Crazy, it? Me on the telly. Arthur then continued to dress up, and after his face was made up like a clown he left. On the street he was followed by detectives Garrity and Burke, but Arthur escaped to the train and mingled with the people wearing clown masks. Garrity and Burke continued to chase Arthur, 
Arthur then triggered a riot on the train. In addition, Burke accidentally shot one of the passengers wearing a clown mask, so everyone there went berserk and ganged up on the two of them. Arthur then went casually to Murray's studio. There, Arthur met with Murray before the show started. Arthur asked to be introduced as the Joker. <laughs> Thank you, Murray. Not long after, the show started and Arthur entered the stage. After exchanging pleasantries for a while, Arthur finally confessed that he was the perpetrator of the shooting on the train. Murray was bad for inviting him here to taunt him. I killed those guys because they were awful. To be somebody but themselves, they don't. Arthur then shot Murray in the head. The news spread quickly and many people took to the streets wearing clown masks. They acted anarchistic and seemed inspired by the Joker's words. Shortly thereafter, Arthur was taken away by a police car, but the car was hit and the policeman who took him was killed. Arthur himself was unconscious, but several people wearing clown masks took him out of the car. After he realized, Many people surrounded him and asked him to get up. Arthur woke up and was happy to be the center of attention. Meanwhile, Thomas Wayne and his wife were shot dead by a man wearing a clown mask while trying to avoid the commotion, while Bruce was not shot and just stood there watching his parents die. After that incident Arthur was detained in a place and accompanied by a psychiatrist. <laughs> not long after, Arthur left the room leaving a trail of blood, he was then chased by the officers. <laughs> 